Hi, this is Notebook Player, and today I'm going to be showing you how to start your own Brink dedicated server. There's a lot of things I need to talk about, and I don't want to make this video a half hour long. So, if you have any questions, just uh, post them in the comments section, or you can message me and get a hold of me through one of my instant messengers. First off, I'm going to show you um, Brink, the forum. That's the one thing that you need to know. Um, Brink the game, you just type that into the search engine and there's this visit the forums link down here and that'll take you to their forums. Uh, you, can, you can post any of your questions here too because I'm always on this forum here and my name's Excel. There's a couple of things you need to do to be able to run any dedicated server and I could make another video um, explaining just that and it'd probably take quite a while to do but I'm just going to give an overview of how to do that and that's uh, to forward your ports and to make a static IP for your dedicated server. Brink and the tools kit that it comes with off of Steam gives you this PDF file called Brink Windows Dedicated Server 1.1 PDF that is just your how-to basically and here it shows uh, the ports that we need, port mapping, that's the first thing you need to do, initial setup it shows the net server port 27,015 and the server port master 27,016 and Steam's is 8,766 those are the three ports you're going to have to forward on your router if you want to start your own dedicated server and how you do that is you got to access your router and anyone that knows anything about routers knows that to access your router you have to type in 192.168.0.1 into your browser and then you're into your router. In here, before you are going to be able to even uh, set your, your um, your ports, you're going to need a static IP. In some routers, it comes with a menu option like this right here is mine. It shows add DHCP dynamic protocol. That's the internal IP address that's uh, given to you every couple of days by your internet service provider that will reserve your IP so you'll always keep that IP and make it static. Like right here, this is my PC, Excel PC, 192.168.0177. And that's reserved for me all the time. And it'll never change. But if you don't do that, it will change every couple of days. Because that's what internet service providers do. They change your internal IP address. So, for me, and for other people that have this option, all you got to do is type in the desired IP that you want and it'll be reserved for you to use and then you just go to your virtual server which is for single port forwards port forwarding is for multiple ports and just add your IP address where it needs to be the static IP address that we assigned it and then you type in your port that you need 27,015 and 27,016 and 8,766 and we've got all our ports forwarded for the Brink dedicated server now you can run it and it won't ever change it'll always stay up some people don't have the option though to be able to reserve your slot like that and they have to make their own uh, they have to make their own static IP and to do that what you need to do is you need to go to your whichever uh, Yahoo or Google that you use and type in port forward static IP that's it I'm running the Brink dedicated server right now, so it's kind of slow.
and then there'll be an index of static IP guides. Just click that, click on your operating system, and then you're good to go. It'll show you how to do that. And if you can't figure out how to do it, because it is kind of complicated, just leave a comment and I can help. I've got lots of instant messengers you can instant message me to. Once you get that done, and once you have your ports forwarded in your router, now you have to go to the next step, and that is simply to download the dedicated server tools. And to do that, you have to go into Steam. You just double-click Steam, go to your games, your view menu in the top here, and go to Tools. In here is a Brink dedicated server. You click that, just like any other game. It's free, and it downloads. And what it gives you will be located on your hard drive, in program files, in Steam, in Steam apps, in common, break dedicated server. There it is. This is all your fires you're going to need. You don't even need the game to run the server. I didn't buy the game till three days after I started the server, and it still worked just fine. Now that we have our ports forwarded and we have our static IP, here is the file that you're going to want to look at. This brink daddy dot bat. You're going to want to edit that. It'll say what do you want to use to edit it. Just pick Notepad, and in here all you have to switch is after the plus set SI name. This will give you. This will be the name of what will show up in the server browser list. So we change that, you save it, now you start your server by clicking on brink.exe or you right click your Steam and then at the top here you click your brink dedicated server. That will bring up this window right here. This is your command prompt for your or your user interface for your dedicated Brink server. To start your Brink server, the PDF guide will give you a good overview of what you're supposed to do to start it in the first place. If you read all that, you should be able to figure out how to, how to start it. But in case you didn't figure it out after reading all that, what you want to do is copy this right here into a file or whatever that you can remember and copy this. You need to take this right here and you just copy it and after you started the server you simply paste it and you hit enter. That's going to change your game mode. Then to start your server by spawning a map you copy this, paste it and enter. Now your server will be up in in the server list in the Brink game. You'll be able to go into it yourself if you want to with a couple of modifications to the Steam client and other people will be able to also. So that's basically all there is to making a dedicated server for Brink. If you want to run both the dedicated server and the Brink game at the same time, you're going to need to change part of the um, way the game launches um, for both of them. And what that is, is uh, you just go to your double click on Steam and bring up your games list right here or uh, yeah, games list. Um, wherever it's at. It's somewhere around here. Where are you at? Man. Oh. Um, yeah, you just double click on Steam, wherever, and you gotta click on your little icon down here, the bottom right icon. And it'll take you to your profile and then you just click on your games and or you click on all games then and then 
right click on the game that you want to change, you click views. No, views. No, not that. Um. I always freaking forget where this is at. Where's Brink at? God. All games, yeah. You gotta figure out where your games are at that you can... It's in your games list, and then you gotta click all games over here. Anyway, you right click your Brink game, you hit properties in this confusing Steam client, and then you gotta figure out how to get here in the first place. Then you find the set launch options, and in here you'll see this is plus set win slash allow multiple instances one. You have to set this in the launch options in both your Brink and Brink dedicated server tools to be able to run both the clients at the same time. Otherwise you'll get an error saying you can't run multiple instances at the same time. Please change it and add that code to it. If you need that code, I'll post it so you won't have to ask for it. And now you should be able to do everything that I can do right now. And if you've got any other questions, just leave a comment or get a hold of me somehow. I'm Excel on the Brink forums, and I'm always on there, so you can personal message me if you need to. I think that about covers everything that I wanted to talk about. And thanks for watching. Have fun with your Brink dedicated server.